New tonight, a South Florida tennis coach telling his side of the story after he's accused of hitting a five-year-old with a tennis racket. The incident was caught on camera. Now, he admits he made a mistake. And as he fights charges of child abuse, he is still being allowed to interact with children. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega is live in the newsroom with the story. Aurelia. Elliot and Ruta Bay, the tennis instructor, is publicly apologizing to the little boy's family. He says he was trying to keep the boy from striking other children by taking the racket away from him. His lawyer says his client didn't even realize a child had been hit until he was questioned by police. I am here begging the family to please accept my apology and to know that a mistake was made. An instructor issues a public apology to the family of a five-year-old boy he's accused of striking with a tennis racket in an incident captured on surveillance video. Anyone who knows me can speak to my character and knows that I'm a much better person than what that video shows in those few seconds. This surveillance video was taken in April of last year at Miami's First Presbyterian Church on Brickell Avenue. The instructor, 31-year-old Osmailer Torres, is giving tennis lessons to several children. The boys, per usual, were just playing around with their rackets and an accident happened. And I just did not want another student to get in any sort of trouble with the rackets. According to court documents filed by Torres's lawyer, Torres had already reprimanded the child and isolated him to keep him from striking other children when the little boy made his way toward the children. Torres says he was trying to take the racket away from the child when Torres appears to strike the child with the racket. There is no intention behind this. It was a mistake. Anyone who knows me, anyone who can attest to my character knows that this is not something that I do. Torres was arrested and charged with child abuse. He continues to coach and teach children, both as a tennis instructor and as a Sunday school teacher. He says he's learned quite a few lessons from this incident himself. I've learned that forgiveness is hard. I've learned that mistakes are made. And I've learned to forgive people much easier now. Torres's attorney has filed a motion for immunity from criminal prosecution based on Torres's claim that he was protecting other children from harm and that the incident was accidental. Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight.